I'm going to be a dad in like now. Well, I just slipped the clutch, I think, didn't I? <laughs> Don't worry, it's used to it from me. <laughs> Every time Rianne phones me, I panic and I say, is it now time? So okay. if you're a male and you can't breastfeed, don't feel bad, okay? Because yeah. I refuse to breastfeed because I want to take good care of these. One of us, one of us. Yeah? Hello everybody, big news. Alex Kirsten is having a baby. He's gonna be a dad for the first time. And today we're gonna to see if his dream car, this incredible 993, can be used safely today with children. Obviously it predates Isofix. And if we can get a child seat in here successfully, me and Alex are then gonna take this out for a drive with my youngest and find out how is Alex feeling about becoming a dad for the first time. Come on, let's find out. My name's Ben, welcome to Dad Cars. Hello Alex, welcome Hello. back to the Dad Cars channel. Thank you very much. And last time we filmed actually was at the start of your trading up series to your dream car. Yes. So it started with the S4. Yes. A 993 is a proper dad car legend. When I get that, if I get that, when I get that, you can come back and then we'll go for a drive. Yeah? Yeah. Hold that around. Hold that, yeah. <laughs> You've now got your dream car. I do indeed. One year yeah. later. This is, uh, this is Nigel, the Porsche 993 3.6 Carrera 4, as you alluded to earlier. And um, as you also alluded to, I'm going to be a dad in like now. Could, could happen anytime. It any could time. literally be right now. Yeah. And I'm here, so that's fine because I'll miss out on all the mess. But no, Rihanna is due in like now. Yeah. Now for the next four weeks. So. Yeah. Mm. How are you feeling? Like. Yes. 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 You're feeling yes. yes, yeah. Yeah. No, I, I don't know how I'm feeling, to be honest, Ben. It's just, uh, it's all going to be a completely different lifestyle. We have been preparing the house and Rihanna's been beavering away, making like meals and stuff. So she, we've got like the freezer full of frozen stuff. So she is on it and I am just along for the ride. Yeah. Yeah, oh. I'm trying, Ben. I'm trying. No, 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 no. <laughs> to be honest with you, I think the best thing to do is not to think about it. Yeah. And there's nothing I can tell you about the label which is going to help. It's yes. Just, no. You just do it, and then you, we can talk about it afterwards. Exactly. Crack um, on. But have you ever tried to get a child seat in the back of your dream car? Do you know what? I have not. No. No, I've never had a need to. Uh, but now I do. So um, what is this? This here is a Swedish plus tested child seat. So it's a like extended range rear facing one. Yep. And obviously, as I said earlier on, this doesn't have Isofix in, no. but this is belt secured and uses tether straps and is one of the safest tested child seats, modern child seats you can buy in the world right now. Okay. So it's just whether it'll fit in the back. Right? Yes. I don't, I don't actually know. So mm. let's find out now, we'll see if we can, because okay. the plan is if we can, I've got my youngest who is currently sleeping in my Aventine. Um, that and is, then, that is What do you think? Okay, right, okay. So, so that's gonna that's gonna be the first bleep out on the Dad Cars channel. Be, I've got to no, no, no. But before we do that, just quickly, Demonetized. Right? So, so you are the poo box king, right? Yes. Yeah, the poo box king. And so last time we filmed together a year ago, I turned up in one of my dream cars, my Aston Martin Dad B9. Yeah. You couldn't care less. You no, like, it was so boring. Yeah, rubbish. This is interesting at Not least. interesting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But you're the poo box king. Yeah. You've now got a 993. I mean, these are very expensive these days. Yes. This is um, also like the highest mileage one I could find. So it's done over 200,000 okay. miles, which explains the 200,000 mile high mileage hero sticker that you can now get on the autoalliescarshop.com. These are awesome, actually. Yeah. And I can't get one for my Aventine because it's only got 69,000 miles. We could do a sticker for a 69 of a different sort, Chris. You'd like that sticker, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah. yeah. Anyway. But, but, but you said uh, Poo Box King. Yeah. You've got one of these yeah. now. Yeah. I'm driving around in that. Yes. And my dream car is a Ferrari. Next, you'll be saying you've got a Ferrari. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I definitely wouldn't do that. OK, I have a Ferrari. <laughs> it's a 360. Um, Chris, if you just have a little look. Sorry, sorry, Ben. I'm going to no, take go for Chris it, go with for me. It. This is my Ferrari 360. As you can see, it is crap. And I actually have no love for it. Um, if you have a look on the Auto Alex channel, you will see that I crashed this car into that unit I was reversing. And because I'm really old, I got, I got muddled up between the brake and the accelerator and forgot that there are no brakes and then crashed it into a toolbox. Uh, so yeah, I hate this thing, but it's quite funny, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. And yeah. it is a Ferrari. Yes. You are. A Ferrari owner. Ferrari, yeah. yeah. Before we take the 993 out for a drive and talk more about becoming a dad, this feels like a fitting time for me to quickly talk about how I've found becoming a father and this video's paid partner, Better Help. For me, having four young children and starting a completely new full-time career with zero certainty, this YouTube channel, 
I'm not ashamed to admit, the last 12 months have been some of the toughest for me mentally. I am constantly spinning work, family, financial pressures in my mind and add to that the inevitable broken sleep that comes along with being a parent. And look, I've decided to try online therapy with BetterHelp. By taking the time once a week to focus on your own well-being, I mean, look, I've already identified that I don't like saying no. And what inevitably happens is I say yes to too much, overfill my plate, and then I just get this horrible, underlying, anxious feeling, which inevitably results in me feeling burnt out. And with spare time being so scarce for all parents, fortunately with better help, you can pick a time that suits you. And with your most preferred method, you know, whether it's on the laptop or with your phone, you know, messaging, a phone call or a video call. BetterHelp have over a thousand credentialed therapists ready to give you unbiased advice by whatever method you feel most comfortable with. All you need to do is go to the BetterHelp website, answer a few questions, and they will pair you with a therapist, usually within 48 hours. So why don't you give it a try, all on your own terms and from the comfort of your own home. All you need to do is click my link in the description below or select DadCars during sign up and you'll get a discount on your first month. Thank you for listening. Now let's get back to the you. You know what, I much prefer something like this, the KN. Okay, yeah. This... See, the, see the, I, look, I, do, I, love the, I love the first gen. Yeah. I've driven a facelift first gen turbo and I, I did really, really like it. But subscribers of my channel know that I'm not the biggest fan of SUVs for myself. Have you like, driven like a really yeah, Volvo yeah. spec? Yeah, yeah. No, 250,000 mile one. They're great, but you couldn't have that as your only car, could oh, well, you? Well, you could. No, you, but, you, but you couldn't, could you? I could. Let's be honest. Challenge what, you, accepted. What, that is your only car that you only drive car. for a whole year? Yeah. You're not allowed to drive anything on a B-Road Blast that's low to the ground. Would you... Sorry, I'm... Hi, Mum. <laughs> so Ben probably edits this to make it look easy. And I've been watching him in the heat. Yeah, I do, obviously, because nobody's going to want to watch a video where it's like 20 minutes of it is me struggling to get a child seat in, are they? So yeah, I'll make it nice and snappy. If you'd like to find out more on how these bout secured child seats work, I highly recommend you check out the Citroen BX Dad Cars review that we did. And you'll find out why in cars that predate Isofix, these are the types of seats I like to use. I love your shop, by the way. Oh, thank you. Done by the wonderful Chris, who's incredible. But I've got, look, I see you've, you've got the, the Dad Cars OG embroidered yeah, t-shirt. Absolutely. Thank you for wearing that today. That actually means a lot yeah. to me. You, you Which if you're watching that. this, you should buy. Yeah, well, it's the first batch. It says OG Dakar's t-shirt at the back. And once they're gone, they're gone. But I've got to give you the full set of oh, family merch. Here so we go. this one obviously is most appropriate. It's oh. the Petrolhead Pickle Sleep Suit. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. That's Embroidered nice. Petrolhead Pickle on it. Fantastic. And is she going to come out this size? No. So okay. this is three to six months. But everybody buys you gifts for a newborn. Yes. So you've got loads of newborn stuff from family and friends and then they grow out of it really quickly. Yeah. This is the smallest size of doing the Petrohead Pickles hoodie. Oh, that's cute as yeah. well. Look at that. So, I like that. And my wife hand sewed all those really? labels on. Yeah, and it says making memories look on the other side, oh, which is quite amazing. sweet. Amazing, amazing. And then you've got to also have the embroidered dad cars hoodie, haven't you? Oh so, yeah. Look at that. Do you, will you be offended if I don't put it on right now? No, I want you to wear it whilst we're in your, has this got aircon? With the hood up. Right. No, no, I'm joking, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> and I've just heard the baby wake up actually. Yeah. Nice. Look at that. Go to the Dad Cars store and buy all of this merch. Open. Um, and support Ben. All right. I'll open it you for you. You need support. He's a dad of four daughters. I'm having one and I'm starting to panic. Speaking of which, I need a lie down. And I'll tell you what, Chris, should we do a, a discount code for the first time? Yes. Yeah? Uh, discount code Alex on the Dad Cars shop. Link in the description below. Get your Petrolhead family merch today. Oh, Christ, the, the pedals are in a strange position. Yeah, no, they're not They're not ideal. So it's right over to the left, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, wow. Yeah, try that on a long journey, it's not pleasant. Well, I've got rigor mortis in my lower back. Oh, bloody hell, I, mean, I used to have that. Maybe it's catching. Full-blown rigor mortis, oh, is this gonna up. trigger it for me? God, uh, they're such strange pedals, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, it's not the best. Oh, and the clutch is really strange as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's like, it goes like that. Is that normal? Yeah. But you've got the right amount of pedals, haven't you? Yeah. 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 Oh, here we go. When was this driven last? Oh, uh, stall it. A while so ago. A while ago. Yeah, it's been a while. Oh, it feels so special though, doesn't yeah? it? Yeah. Yeah. But for me, my my dream 911's always been a 996 turbo. Fair. I, I don't know. Maybe because it it's always been like the obtainable felt obtainable throughout my life. Yeah. But for you, it was always the 993. Always right? a 993. But now the 996 is turning into unobtainium, isn't it? Well, prices yeah. of those are. 
I just slipped the clutch, I think, didn't I? <laughs> Don't worry, it's used to it from me. <laughs> now, you could still get a 996 turbo for like a nice one for like mid 30s, I'd say. Yeah, that, that is becoming unobtainium though, isn't it? That, that's a lot of money. Wow, how much was this? This was 40. That is really good for one of these. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it's incredible. A, it is a, a bargain, but yeah. The reason yeah. I got it so cheap is because it's done. 204,000 miles now, so I bought it at like 202, and yeah, it's like one of the highest mileage ones you can you can buy really. Yeah. But it's had the engine was completely reworked. It's got RS cams. Okay. I don't know if you saw in my unit. I've got a dirty great big GT2 wing to go on that as well. Oh, that's exciting. Oh, it's just so mechanical though, isn't it? It is. Yeah, it really is. And obviously, the last of the air cooled. Yeah. 911s as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it sounds great, looks fantastic. It goes pretty well as well. It's not the fastest thing in the world, but yeah. I mean, it's not sluggish, it's very swift. But then that's the, this is a prime example though of when you get a car which is so analog, yeah. you don't need it to go crazy 0 to 60s and yeah, stuff. Yeah, you yeah, to yeah. Sort yeah. of feel engaged and have a good time. Yeah. I mean, I'm obviously going to be nursing it around because we did manage to get the child seat in the back and it's, it's in, it's safe, but. It's not ideal, is it? Because you are quite close to the airbag. Uh, yes, I am currently the airbag. Yeah. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Don't worry, Nigel loves it. Yeah, that the throttle pedal is really quite sensitive, actually, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Your feet as well are so far off. You yeah. like that? It's, yeah. It's not the most pleasant driving experience, especially on longer journeys. What's it like in traffic? Uh, yeah, you just get used to it. You right? get used yeah. to it, but yeah, I mean, after a while, genuinely, my back starts to hurt. Yeah, and then the rigor mortis that you mentioned starts to creep in again. And yeah. you're like, oh god, am I yeah. going to actually survive this journey? Yeah, and you know what? Also, as well, carrying around little people. Yeah, that I think is another reason why. Because obviously, I've got four children. Yeah, I? yeah. I've got a litter. <laughs> they, yeah, I reckon that that sort of like plays into it as well. Oh, I'm, yeah. not, I'm not a big fan of prams. Whenever I take the kids out, I'll just take the the baby carrier, yeah. like in my logo, or well, now I can't, but I just, I'd rather just carry them myself. Right, okay, I've, I've got a big question on you becoming a dad then. Go on then. Have you thought about what is gonna be the car that you collect your baby from the hospital and drive them home? So the first time your baby ever goes in a car in their life, have you thought about what car it's going to be? Uh, yes, it's going to be the best car in the world, which is my daily driver. Well, your, my my F11 BMW 530 yeah. detouring. That's uh, that is also a high mileage here. That's on 188,000 miles. I've owned that for uh, a year now, actually, or just under a year. And I've done, I think, 20,000 miles on it. And it's needed a rocker cover gasket and a gearbox service. But apart from that, I can get 45 MPG from it. It's fast, it's very practical, it's very safe. Yeah. It's the newest car I own. And it is genuinely fantastic. I, I don't know what mm. I would swap that car out for when yeah. the time comes. Well, th yeah, because you very nearly bought my wife's X5, didn't yes, you? Yes, I did. Yeah. You, you expressed an interest. I made a video sort of saying how I've got to buy it for it and I'm going to sell it. And then you very correctly decided, no, hang on, that's a terrible idea. I'm yeah. going to keep my 5 Series Because instead. I also had an X5 at the time and it was a Sport and it was black and it had all the all the Sport bits on it and it just wasn't me. Yeah. I like a car to be really unassuming. Yeah, you with... felt like people were looking at you like he thinks that he's the yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I like but... comfort wheels, I like yeah. comfort seats. I don't want sport suspension for a daily driver. No. Because when I'm going somewhere, it's usually going to be quite a long yeah. distance and I just want to chill. Yeah. Well, um, a high mile five series does feel like a nice thing for you to yeah. bring your first child into the world in, doesn't it? Yeah. So that is quite fitting. Yeah. If I give you a a dad car sticker, will yeah. you put it on? What if you will you put it on your your daily? Oh, just so yeah, when yeah. on that trip. Yeah. I know. It's too many, I'm quite you can be with me. Yeah. I'm quite sentimental, but <laughs> I love the idea of that. You know. Like yeah, let's do it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, that's nice. It's the first time I've driven a 993. First oh, time yeah. I've been in a 993. Oh, wow. Okay. What do you think? I, I love it a lot. Yeah. It feels like a perfect weekend car to me because yeah, it yeah, is yeah. so analog as well, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. And like you say, it, yeah, I, the first time driving it, I am um, getting used to the accelerator pedal and, yeah. and the clutch as well. I would definitely say that this is the one car that I own where it's taken the longest amount of time to A, get used to it and B, to really gel with it. Okay. But after a while, like, you get 
used to all of the quirks and there are many many quirks with this car yeah especially like there are three oil gauges on here so you're always keeping an eye out and then you know the warning flashes up and you're like oh god what's that but then you can just delete the flashy warning um yeah but yeah it's just so special when you get a glimpse of yourself in a shop window or so yeah oh, just yeah. everything makes sense again and you're like this is yeah. the best car in the world it, 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 which is not but yeah just no, for that second it is yeah for me. oh no well the 993 is by the back of your hand beautiful isn't it yeah 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 it's just the finest of wines as well isn't yeah. it I think becoming a, a dad for the first time, having a baby, is very similar actually to buying your dream car. Oh it's really? Actually, yeah, I think it's quite a similar analogy because, well, particularly if you buy your dream car like outright from a private buyer with yeah. no warranty, sold as seen. Yeah. Because basically, when you first see it, it looks absolutely incredible. Oh my God, dreamt about this forever. That's what it's like when you first have your baby. But then really quickly you start to think oh hang on a second yeah there's, there's some issues here and you this don't is know expensive. and you don't know what you're going to get either yeah, yeah. with a with a baby you could get one which is you know, like a car which is which has been really well looked after and you're lucky the first like yeah. six months is amazing now there's nothing goes wrong or you could have a baby with colic oh and no that doesn't sleep and <laughs> it's really irritable and emotional yeah. and then it's just constant and then you're like oh my god that's like I, every car i own i didn't think it was going to be like this <laughs> you know what i mean but then after six months you go for all like that hard yeah. work you get it how you want it yeah, yeah, sort yeah. everything out you then go back to sort of being like oh hang on a second yeah maybe i can keep this long term and i can yeah, do yeah, this yeah. and sort of enjoy it do you know what i mean yeah well with a baby at least when you take it out of hospital you know that it's going to poo itself when you buy your dream car you really hope it doesn't poo itself on the way home yeah oh yeah yeah but it could oil stains on the driveway <laughs> yeah <laughs> have you been going to the what the nct classes have you been going to those yeah so we did a uh, happy parent happy baby which is just a, yeah. a more modern version of nct okay so yeah i think there were four lessons one of them i missed which was arguably the most important one which is baby first aid because uh, i was in poland uh, okay driving yeah, yeah. a bmw uh, to poland yeah yeah old trace um uh, yeah That's, i mean it's that by the way before i forget that, that most that last episode the the videography the editing the painting a picture me and my wife watched that together and she was even saying she's like this is oh awesome blooming good yeah oh, really geez. good and entertaining yeah, yeah, yeah. just Appreciate incredible that. like so much work i know as well as a fan first obviously but now that as a as a content creator myself i know how much work goes into that how many yeah. man hours you know yeah yeah, yeah. To, to produce something like that yeah. multiple four vehicles wasn't it uh five including big pete yeah 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 just incredible but honestly it's just yeah, magical content that you're making oh, on thanks, your channel. Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are. yeah. In the unlikely event anyone watching this doesn't subscribe to Auto Alex's main channel, go and do it now. Trust me, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. We've um, yeah, I've been really happy with what we've been doing recently, and we've got the Ferrari series as well. Um, so that's quite entertaining. We've got the classic cars that we're kind of revisiting. So yeah, yeah it's all good. We're just super busy, and we're in a new unit now. It currently has no internet, which is uh, which is really difficult. But we have electricity, which is a first as of last week. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we're finding our feet. It's a lovely, it's a lovely setup. You've it got is, it. I, yeah. can, I can see the vision. Yeah, good, I, good. I, yeah. I used to renovate properties, so I can see oh, something. Happy which, days, yeah. What it could potentially look yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's I'll nice and it's private good. as well, which is great. So, what do you reckon, Ben? I would, really, would you buy one? I really, really like it. I, I can't. Uh, there's no way I can afford it. They've, they've, I've missed the boat with these. Yeah. Because like, look, if I could buy for 35 grand, I could buy my like 996 Turbo. Yeah. For me, I think I think the, 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 the ship has sailed for me on a 993. Yeah. But looks wise, I don't think you can beat a 993. No, yeah. It's, it's always been a dream car of mine. And yeah, amazingly, after you know a couple of years with the channel, even a year and a half, I was able to, uh, to achieve buying that, which was just mental. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm super happy. Yeah, very fortunate. Yeah. yeah. Well, that, that's it. I mean, I'm, I'm currently going in the opposite direction. Yeah, yeah. I'm training down. So I started with the Dad Be yeah. Nine, and then okay, this is a good question for you. So my next car, I'm ready to go because I've sold the Grand Sport. Yeah. Next car, ten thousand pounds. The most exciting Dad car that I could buy for ten thousand pounds. What would you say? Uh, it's something that Rory has already mentioned to you. Okay. What well, the the S6? A V10 powered wagon. Does yeah, it get yeah. any better no, than no. that? No, no. Honestly, C6 RS6 
a hundred percent. I will buy one. Yeah. And there's there's one up at the moment for like thirteen thousand eight hundred or something like that. In the it's in the right blue that I want but as well. But you can get an S6 for half the price. Yeah, Rory offered it to me, and then I heard on the podcast when I was driving home the other day him saying that on idle there's a problem with it. Oh yeah, yeah, but that'll all be fixed. <laughs> that would all be fixed though, obviously. Nice, isn't it? Yeah, oh no, it's amazing. And obviously I'm gonna take it super easy because like I say I've got a pickle in the back and you are very close to I those, am the airbag. to those airbags there, there but your you, daughter's so. more important than my face. Yeah, no no absolutely, but that's why we're just gonna nurse it around yeah, like a yeah, bit yeah. of a granny run. Oh and I had the pleasure of meeting your mum recently oh, yeah, at your baby yeah, shower. Yeah. Oh, baby shower. What yeah. a wonderful lady. Oh nice, yeah, she'll be she'll be over the moon you said that. Yeah. Oh no, no, it's it's incredible. Yeah, it was lovely to get the opportunity to, to thank her in person for being such an awesome mum, yeah. having awesome mum cars, taking you on European adventures in those yeah, cars. Yeah, yeah. We drove to Germany every single year. Yeah, that's that's incredible. That for me is like the, is the magical thing. You know, it's like to, today why I bought the littlest pickle along is because you know I had to wait 36 years to be in a, a 993, but a day after her second birthday, she got to <laughs> yeah, yeah, experience yeah. being in a 993. Yeah, yeah. So. And well, she'll have these videos to look back on, yeah. I think. I'm sure it? she'll treasure this moment for life. <laughs> is she, she's uh, very excited at the moment. I bet she's asleep. Is she asleep? She's probably asleep. Oh, no, she's not. <laughs> she's playing with Stickman. Oh, she's playing with Stickman. There you go. There you go. So she's enjoying it. So, um, yeah, at some point, my daughter will also be in this car. But yeah. probably in the front seat. Have you thought about... Yeah, so a problem with this is that I don't think you can switch off that passenger side airbag. Oh. You'd probably be able to do, like, an aftermarket thing. What about if I put a big spike? on the outside of the uh, baby seat. And if it, it deploys, yeah. it just... Yeah, if we're in a Looney Tunes cartoon, you could do you could do that, but IRL, that wouldn't work, I'm afraid. Oh, so. that's a shame. I'll have to think again. It's all right, we've got four-wheel drive. Well, that makes it more practical, that car. Yeah. Look, I, I'll make it my mission to find a child seat. It might be that it's one that's forward-facing, so once they're a bit bigger. Yeah. But I'll find a child seat that fits really, really well Wicked. in the back of this. Well, thank you, Alex. Thanks for letting me experience that. No, that no, was, no, um, you're all good. That was really special. Thank you for that. But it was so hot. It's, it's too hot, today, yeah. Isn't yeah. It? And you were quite close to that airbag. But, yeah. Um, there was just a couple other questions I want to ask you about. Sure you know, on the cusp of days away, potentially, from becoming yeah, dad. Yeah, every time Rianne phones me, I panic, and I say, is it now time? Imagine if it happened right now. Like, everyone would say that this was... Uh, this it was, was your up, fault. Yeah, or you yeah. my fault, yeah. It's all scripted, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> page 17, that's per usual. There's always one, one person <laughs> that says that. Uh, but how much sleep do you rely on at the moment, out of interest? Uh, I, I get very cranky. Yeah, and I'm I'm not very nice to be around, am I, Chris, when I haven't had to know, he's, he's shaking his head. I probably rely on currently six hours, I would say. Oh, okay. Maybe six and a half hours. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that kind of gets me by. I'm used to it now. Obviously, Rianne, she gets up a lot at the moment and she's a bit vomity and all the all the good stuff that comes with the end of her pregnancy. Oh, in this heat, mm. right at the end, it's yeah. so tough, like yeah. the last... We do have weeks. one of those portable aircon machines. Can't recommend them enough. They're like 400 quid on Amazon. Oh, okay. Yeah, and it yeah. literally saves you. But just physically even, like, how can you sleep? Like, oh, yeah, when she's... You're, like, it's she, yeah, I actually need to crane her into the bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have a crane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I understand that my sleep is going to be completely screwed. Yeah. So if you suddenly, for some reason, had a couple like interrupted sleep and it was only like three and a half, four hours, mm. how mm. are you at work the next day? Oh, I'd be terrible. Yeah, I'm, yeah, just, no, I'm no, the same. No, yeah, I wouldn't be good. How's Ree with like not sleeping much? She's better than me, but she's she is more of a patient person. But what we're going to do is we're going to take it in shifts. Apparently, that's what her friend did. I will take from like eight p.m until midnight or one o'clock and then I'll wake her up and then she can do through the night and yeah. then at least that way I can actually function in the morning yeah so yeah I'll do I'll do my time and you're going to take some time off from auto Alex from YouTube sure when the baby comes sure sure thing Ben like two weeks off get like Taylor and Luke to step in for a few episodes it or... would all fall apart more than it already get Chris, is falling get apart Chris now. on camera for a couple of Chris weeks. is actually everyone, the only one I trust everyone would everyone would love to see it it'd yeah. be quite funny they'd all be able to say you know Alex you is changing nappies again so yeah. we've got to do yeah. another video I think that'd be quite I've fun. never changed a nappy have you not no okay well the thing is in the first six months it, well it depends if you're breastfeed or not speaking of I, NC... won't be, I won't be breastfeeding no no oh okay I didn't like to 
assume. Assume, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, but speaking of NCT classes, the only one that I went to was a breastfeeding one. And I remember walking out thinking, they were so drilling it into you, like if yeah. you don't breastfeed, you're the worst person in the oh, world. Oh yeah, that's the thing with NCT. They are they really old that? school. That's why yeah. we avoided NCT. Right. Because they you... do breastfeed shame you into breastfeeding. Yeah. Yeah. Well, fortunately, like, we, want, we wanted to do it, and fortunately we could. But some people, for physical reasons, yeah, yeah. like something happens and it's like, okay, well this isn't going to work. Yeah, so. exactly, yeah. So okay. if you're a male and you can't breastfeed, don't feel bad, okay? Because yeah. I refuse to breastfeed because I want to take good care of these. Yeah, don't let the NCT nurses Shame you, yeah. I say. Otherwise, they can do it. Yeah. Oh, or they're like too a old. No, they used to do old. that as well, didn't they? Wet they nurses. Did. Yeah, that's, yeah that's, weird. that's a bit weird. This has taken a turn, and it, hasn't it? <laughs> and then just, just finally, right? Yeah. Because it is a mad old time, right? You, yeah. You potentially will think back to this time. Fast forward however many days or whatever it is. Yeah. Years into the future. Yeah. And you'll be thinking like, oh, yeah, life before being a dad, life after. Yeah. How are you feeling like right now? Is it starting? I know you say like you don't think about it until it's here. Yeah. But is it starting to creep in now? Slowly. Yeah, it slowly is. Yeah, because I'm thinking a bit more about. I'm starting to panic a little bit about having to get Rianne to hospital and the whole giving birth thing because that's that's quite hectic. Yeah. It's like large thing, small thing. It just yeah. So hopefully it will all be all right, Rianne. It will be okay, and I will be there. Unless I'm filming, in which case I won't. I will be there. I'm joking. <laughs> are you gonna? Are you starting to sort of not book further away things now? Yeah, yeah. Right? I mean, yeah, my, yeah. my friend Gareth, um, he phoned me up yesterday. He said, "Oh yeah, uh, track day in August." I was like, mm, "Probably won't be able to make that." So yeah. Um, yeah, sorry, Gareth. I can't can't come play motorbikes. So yeah, I don't want to be further away than an hour currently. Yes. So. Gareth's a um, daughter dad as well, isn't he? He is. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. that reminds me. I've got a daughter dad car club sticker that I can give you as well. Oh, okay, so, nice. Um, yeah, yeah. We'll me, me and Chiro started that up. Nice. Chiro, Mr. Petrol Head. He also has four daughters. He's got four daughters. They're all teenagers at the moment. Oh, God. And so, all oh, right, they're so close together yeah. that they will all be teenagers at, one, at the yeah. same time as well one day, mm -hmm. which I just try not to think about, don't no. I? Because at the moment, you actually want to spend time with your daddy, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. That won't last. No, no. Yeah, it's, <laughs> look, and final thing. Yeah. Speaking of daughters. Yeah. How did you feel? Like bef you found out, obviously. Yeah. So before you found out, what what were you thinking? Were you hoping either way, or were you? I was. I was hoping for a boy. Okay. Yeah. 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 But most guys do, though. Yeah, yeah. 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 And then how did you feel like initially, and how do you feel now? I was how hoping for a boy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so for me, it's not like oh yeah, I want to. I'm a guy. I want to have a guy, and you know, do guy things and stuff. It was for me. It's, it's mainly because I was brought up without a dad. Yeah. And I just want to be able to prove to myself that I can have that relationship. Okay. You know, son, father, something I didn't have. It yeah. would have just been cool to to be able to do that. So it, it did take genuinely. It took a while for me to adjust to okay, I'm going to have a daughter. And I'm sure lots of people are the same and they say, oh no, you know, as long as he and she's healthy, that's absolutely perfect. But other people a bit like me were like, you know, I had a preference. Rianne wanted a daughter, she got a daughter, so yeah. super, super, super happy. But now, you know, seeing you, yeah. seeing Chiro, seeing Gareth with their daughters, you know, part of me thinks actually, maybe I'm more suited to have a daughter. And that relationship that you have with a daughter, I understand is very different to having a, a son. So. Yeah, some, sometimes it can be, yeah. they say you can be even closer. Yeah, like yeah, the dads yeah, yeah. are more important to the daughters yeah, and, yeah. and vice versa and stuff. But, yeah. but the other thing is as well, so you, but you were, were talking about your mum earlier on. Yeah. And so you were raised by your mum. Yeah. So a mum with a son. Yeah. And then, you know, are dad you thinking about some dad ventures maybe when your daughter's a little bit older, like taking her oh, yeah, in the car, yeah, going to do yeah, a yeah. road trip? So well, it's kind of like... We've got Betty outside, you know, Betty, my VW bus. Yes. And that's going to get PD swapped. And yeah, I'm, I'm planning adventures with Rianne and, and our daughter. Working title name at the moment is Brenda. Okay. <laughs> for, for, the, for the van or for your daughter? For, for the daughter. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Brenda. Working title. Working title, yeah. As in, is that, is that that's going to be like what Taylor and, and everyone refers yeah, yeah, yeah. to your so, daughter so, as? Um, because I call them all pickles. Like, yeah, okay. I, I just say pickles. No, no, somewhere. Brenda, like, I, I think Brenda's a really naff name. And okay. I would never call my daughter Brenda. So when we found out that Rianne was pregnant, we were like, what's a really naff name that we will never in, in our wildest dreams call our daughter? And that was Brenda. Yeah. I like naff names. We've got Nigel, we've got Phil. Barney and stuff, so yeah, working title Brenda. So Brenda and Betty with Rianne will go on adventures. Speaking of naff names, didn't you, you and Taylor um, named your BMWs Brian and Roger. Yes, we did. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. they're really naff names, yeah, yeah? Yeah, That's my middle names. I've got two middle names, Brian and Roger. Really? Yeah, yeah. It explains so much. 
<laughs> yeah, cheers. Thanks, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for that. Um, but look, Alex, thank you so much. For You're all, all of always your, welcome. You've been so incredible to me. You really have. Like behind the scenes, helping me with bits and pieces as well. Give me advice and stuff. So You're all good. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Let me give you a sweaty cuddle quickly oh, with a baby in the middle. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. <laughs> but yeah, no, thank you so much. We're so, I'm so excited that you're going to be one of us. One oh, of us. One of, of us. us. Yeah. But not times four. <laughs> no. I'm out. No, no. Yeah, that's the final question then. So yeah. do you? One and so done. So you don't know until you've had another one. Uh, one, one and done. You reckon one and done? Probably. You reckon, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Unless I don't get on with Brenda or she just hates me for some reason, then I'll be like, oh, let's try one more. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm sure that won't happen. Yeah. Well, look, you've, 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 we haven't had your one yet, have you? No, so exactly. We'll yeah. see how yeah. that is. But yeah. Rhi is wonderful. She is. She's awesome. picked an yeah. incredible person to, yeah. to have to have children with. Yeah, that yeah, is yeah. That is the most important thing. Yeah, so, yeah exactly. Yeah. So she's now, she's now got two children to look after, hasn't she? Me and Brenda. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. She yeah. does. No, genuinely, she does. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. But whenever I've seen you two together, I can see you're going to be a smashing team. Also, awesome. I appreciate team. that. Yeah. T teacher, right? Yeah. Teacher. Yeah, she's a teacher. Teachers Special make teacher. excellent yeah. wives, excellent mothers, in Fantastic. my opinion. There you go. Not that I'm yeah. biased. So, but yeah. yeah, thank you so much. No, I'm looking um, forward to it. Yeah. And like I said earlier on, check out the Auto Alex channel on the off chance that you haven't done so already. Subscribe to this channel if you don't already. Come on. Especially if you're a dad or you're going to be a dad soon. Buy merch. Yeah, check out the merch as well. And I'll see you on the next one. All the best, Alex. Thank you very much. And that's it from Dadcast. That's great.